hello and welcome to my channel y'all please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged, some is not, and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Now, I got a lot of pictures that I want to go over with you all. And um, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I possibly can, okay? But there's a lot of things that I want to cover in this video. And the most thing that I want to cover in this video is the fact that there is a serious agenda that's going on right now, okay? And this agenda is against the poor. This agenda is against people of color. And like I said before, they are using the very people that a lot of the youth today support, okay, to take them out line them up, line up other artists, and, you know, keep money in their pocket and profit off of people's demise, y'all, okay? So I want to talk about a lot of things. Now, first off, as you all know, these are the symbols, just a few of them, of Masons and these Eastern Stars, okay, y'all? And... This is an occult, y'all. And it's a worldwide occult, all right? And it has members that range from crooked cops, judges, celebrities, teachers, doctors, all kinds of stuff, y'all, okay? So I just want you all to just, you know, go on this little trip with me real quick, okay? So let's keep going. Now, ever since we've been covering Dolph's case, a lot of stuff been coming out here and there, there and here. People been saying that, you know, his baby mama's an Eastern star. They're talking about, you know, Dr. Moore is an Eastern star. When we, Since we've been covering Mo 3 case, there have been a lot of Eastern stars and Masons and stuff coming up in his case, okay? Um, a lot of... These Eastern Stars and Masons that's been coming up in both of these guys' cases, they went to the same school together, y'all. Okay? A lot of police officers, they all went to the same school together. Um, the chief of police in um, Memphis, she went same school. She went to the school where, you know, Mia is from. Okay, y'all? So, do these people have ties? Could be. Could be. Okay, y'all? Are they from the same, you know, walk of lives and backgrounds and areas? Yes, they are. We have connected those dots. Okay, y'all? So let's keep going. You know, a lot of people are trying to figure out why. Why is so many people connected? Why are so many crimes being covered up? A lot of people are trying to figure this out. Why is so many of these guys being taken out and then their cases being stalled? So many people that's a part of this cases have so many arrests. Keywan was out on 17, 18 charges, y'all. He was on 18 bonds he was out on. He had just hit somebody in the stomach, which to me is attempted demise. And he was let right back out. To allegedly, because we all know a lot of people are saying that he's not really the person that hit up Mo3. But this is the person that they have locked up, just like Stray Drop. Okay, y'all? So I want y'all to just pay attention to all these charges that all the, these guys got. Okay? When they were in court reading all of Stray Drop's charges, people were shaking their head 
as to how many times he'd been charged and got right back out. Okay, y'all? Now, like I told you, we've been following these cases for a long time. It's a lot of people on YouTube that actually do their footwork and been doing their homework, okay? Not like the new people that's popping in and acting like they know everything, okay, y'all? So, here's Alicia Keys. I talked about this with both three cases, okay? And allegedly, she's an Eastern star, okay? She is plugged, and like I told you, a lot of these celebrities are plugged with these polices, these dirty cops. Now, this cop that's the first one on to the left, this is the one that owns a funeral home now, y'all, okay? The one in Dallas, okay? And the one standing next to him is Yellow Beezy's protector, okay? Every time Yellow Beezy come out, she's the one that, you know, acts as if that's her son or something okay y'all she you know she's all over him but when he out here doing dirt you know everything's getting covered okay every you know he can't sit or even in jail overnight because they're all over him okay but the stuff that they're doing they're getting away with they're moving allegedly so much street pharmacy stuff that they can't they, they can't even keep up but they're never getting in trouble for it, y'all. Never. And you ask yourself why, okay? Let's keep going. See, you all like, you like to support the wrong people. And we have gotten to the point where they have supported the wrong people for so long that they don't even care anymore if you all support them anymore because they got water deals, they got, you know, drinks on the shelves at the at the liquor stores and all kind of stuff, you know, that they didn't put out now. So they don't care about y'all going to their concerts anymore. They don't care if y'all listening to their music anymore. They didn't get higher up in ranks because they didn't allegedly sacrifice folks. Okay? And they got so many people and all kind of insurance policies and all kind of stuff lined up on them and it all kind of extortion going on with the street you know associates because they play a big part y'all street associates play a very big part these artists use the street associates to carry out a lot of things that they want them to do that's why there's so many crimes going on in the neighborhood okay y'all and just like i told y'all before when you're doing something that you know Back in the days, other people used to do things to our race. But they don't have to do it anymore because they sitting back watching you on the news eating their popcorn do it to each other. Okay, y'all? Here's another judge and another guy that's entwined with all this mess as well, y'all. Eastern Stars and Masons. Okay, y'all? And these are people and judges from Dallas. Okay, y'all? Let's keep going. That in the same circle, same circle. And like I told you, you know, everybody's wondering why. They're, ru they're running around right now wondering why, you know, T.I. and Boosie Nim is, you know, trying to be cool with Gucci and get everybody back together and this and that and that and this. Was they even a part in the first place? Ask yourself this question, y'all. Ask yourself this question. Why are people surprised that T.I. is a backstabber? Why is people surprised that, you know, Boosie is a backstabber? Boosie used Mo3 to get his name back popping, okay? Boosie seems as if he sacrificed Mo3, y'all, to get back in good with the elites, okay, y'all? And it seems to be working because... It looked like he got a couple people under his belt, okay, including King Von, that he told to meet him at the hookah lounge, and he didn't show up. And then King Von mysteriously gets set up and mysteriously gets taken out, okay, y'all? And we don't need to get into King Von right now because we all know, okay, we all know that his manager is a police officer. The very same police officer that got on social media and did an interview and said the police was the ones that was hitting at everybody. Okay, y'all? And now it's coming up that he's a police officer. Okay? It's all about confusion, y'all. 
okay? And I do believe that this is one of the reasons right here, this, this Drake guy, you know, because y'all remember Drake was all over Rihanna. He was chasing her like crazy. But I do believe that Rihanna got tired of the music industry. I think she got tired of the message that it was putting out because she liked kids. And I don't think that Rihanna wanted to keep pushing that. And if y'all notice right now, they're coming at Rihanna and ASAP like crazy. Okay? Is it because they turned their back on the Illuminati, y'all? Ask yourself this question. You know, they start off doing things because they want to get their foot in the door. But once Rihanna got her foot in the door and she saw how things was and, you know, how people were, she started seeming like she backed away from them. Okay? And this, is this one of the reasons why she backed away from Drake? Because he's knee deep in this mess. Okay? And look who's over here in the corner, y'all. You know, from what I'm understanding from this video, all of these guys in this video, this video right here, are Masons, y'all. T.I., look at him over there, okay? Look at him. Look who do you see over there, J. Prince. All these guys is in here. J. Prince Jr. is in here. All of these guys are Masons. And this is why I was talking about Willie D., fake ass. This is why I was talking about him. Okay, y'all? Because he gets on social media and he acts as if, you know, he cares about the communities and this and that. And he talk about issues about all this stuff. But at the same time, you support people like this. Okay, y'all? This is why I can't stand Willie D. Okay, y'all? So let's keep going. Now, I want y'all to look at this table right here. Okay? And I want y'all to remember what Mo3 said when he said that he was in Houston and he went to a meeting and they had Boosie there and they had T.I. there and they had J. Prince there and J. Prince Jr. was there. I want y'all to think about this meeting, okay? And guess who else popped up to the show? Yellow Beezy, okay? And, you know, this is when Mo3 and Boosie kind of, you know, had a little words because Mo3 felt like Boosie was playing both sides and that, you know, he just got, you know, cornered he didn't even know yellow was coming and he was getting into it with yellow okay so he felt like if boosie was his boy why didn't boosie you know talk to him about it before you know this meeting happened okay y'all this is where the extortion comes in this whole table right here that y'all looking at this is the extortion team okay they not only extorted try to extort mo3 they try to extort um nipsey they tried to extort Dolph, okay, and a whole host of others, okay? And you're seeing that now with Rihanna, too. They're trying to extort them because this guy come out of the, out of nowhere now, and uh, people are saying, you know, he ASAP ain't all this, and then ASAP this and ASAP that. But if ASAP had a actually did what, the, you know, this guy saying he did, why didn't he report it when he did it? Why wait? All these months later, and then now you reporting it. So that lets you know it's about money. It's an extortion thing, okay, y'all? And this is what they're about. And if you do not, you know, pay them their fees, they send the street associates at you. Just like they did Nipsey, okay, y'all? They use somebody with power over the streets, like Big U, and then they come at you. And they set it up. Okay, and they use these fall guys, guys that's got a little, you know, mental problems. Look at the, look at the, all the hitters that then took out the people that we're talking about. Okay, look at the guy that took out Nipsey. He got a, like, you know, little mental problems. Okay, y'all. Look at the guy that took out Mo3. He has mental problems and, you know, background problems. Okay, look at this guy that then took out Dolph, allegedly, that's in there for him. Okay, y'all. He got little issues going on with him. Okay, you can tell something wrong with him. Okay, let's just keep going. These are who they use, y'all. Okay? It wasn't no coincidence, y'all, that, you know, they try to, you know, take the building down of his mama and all of this other stuff, okay? It ain't no coincidence. They're trying to keep quiet because they don't want him. They're trying to send a message to him because they do not want him to um tell on the real people that's behind Putting the bag on Dolph. Okay, y'all? Now, I want y'all to look at Alicia Keys' husband right here. Okay, y'all? 
he's in here too. Peep all of these Masons that's in this video, y'all. Okay? So, when I tell y'all stop being surprised about, I told y'all from the jump, I said, when it comes down to who going to come to Memphis and try to do the takeover of Dolph's territory or whatever and try to do some business there or put some roots in there, that's when you're going to know who played a part in this. The first person popping up on the scene that that didn't put forefront is Boosie. And then now there's talks that T.I. is on his way there to, you know, buy some property and stuff. Okay, y'all? So, this ain't nothing new. All right? And they don't seem to care about their families. And I'm going to tell you that. They don't care. They don't care about their families. If something happens to people in their families, they don't care. They collect the check. Look at Jay Prince. He been losing people left and right. And word on the street is, he played a part in it, y'all. Okay? It's about the money. It's about the checks. They don't care. All right, y'all? Let's keep going. And just like I said, look look what's all around them laughing. Laughing because you know why they're laughing around them in this video? It's because they are, you know, doing what they want them to do. Take out their own people. Keep their foots on everybody's necks. This is why the hood is all messed up, y'all. Okay? These people right here. All right? And the people around them is laughing like this, they're doing what we want them to do. Okay? So when you see Black Youngster and all of these guys acting like they God's gift to the world and they at the White House and they this and they that and that and this. This is the agenda that they want them to put out here to y'all. They want these guys to take each other out. And these guys are so zooted out of their minds that they don't see this. That's why it's so important for you all to keep your kids close. Okay? And talk to your kids about these concerts and who they supporting. And every time you go buy some music, what the money that you're putting in somebody's pocket could be money that you, you know, you're adding to that bag for some the next person's head. Okay, y'all? So, be very careful about the stuff that you're supporting, y'all. Okay? Now, I wanted to show you all a little something, something, y'all. I want y'all to pay something very close attention right here. Okay? Um... Look at this female right here, y'all. Look at this female right here. And shout out to OG Jacario, Jacario or Jacario. Shout out to him. Because he has been putting in work, y'all. Okay? And one thing I like about this guy, OG Jacario, um, he's not out here saying, they copying off of my video. They, they stealing my, um, you know, my pictures or this and that and that and this. He's telling people to go share this stuff. Okay. To, you know, do your own research and, you know, spread the word of what's being going on right now. He's telling people. Okay. To use whatever it is you need to do and spread the word of what is going on. And see, that's what's so important right now. Okay. And, I, and this is what I tell y'all about the little people get looked over because everybody is so, you know, brainwashed because somebody add a little music to something. Okay, y'all. This is how people stand together on a job. Okay, y'all. And they all try to find common ground to what is really going on out here. Everybody's trying to put their heads together, try to figure out what's what really happened to Dolph. Everybody's trying to put their heads together to, to see what really happened to Mo3. And, you know, um, a lot of other people, y'all. A whole bunch of, of them. We can name, we can keep going down the line. XXX, everybody, okay, y'all? We can keep going for a whole long time. Because there's so many out here that's, that's falling. So many that's falling. And not just these celebrities. It ain't just about the celebrities. It's about our neighborhoods. It's about, you know, the hood, y'all. Okay? It's about these street associates that's taking each other out for nothing over these celebrities. And their, their beefs. Okay? That's, you know, just 
mingling and tingling on down to the neighborhoods and then they get into it and then innocent kids and innocent you know people are getting taken out because they're out here hitting at each other and all of this stupid mess okay now i want y'all to look at these this girl you know i i find this eerie i don't know what y'all think about this but when i looked at these two girls and i look at the just Dolph and Nipsey Hussle's face that these were the last pictures that they took with somebody and they were taken out and these pictures look so similar that it's ridiculous okay now I'm not saying it's the same person but y'all these eastern stars and these masons they got family members in different places and this reaches far, okay? And a lot of people know each other, and a lot of people is tied to each other, okay, y'all? That we don't even know. But look at these two girls. It looks like this girl played a part. You know, I'm just throwing this out here, but, it, you know, I'm not saying this is true. But it looks like this girl played a part in Nipsey, and then she got, you know, she got upgraded. And now she's working in Memphis. <laughs> That's what it looked like. I, mean, I ain't saying it's true, but I'm just saying, look at them. Look at the nose. Both of them wear glasses. Look at the mouth, how they hold their mouth. Look at the teeth. Look at this girl. Look how she wear her hair with the part to the side. I mean, it's so similar that it's so eerie, y'all. It's, it's very eerie. The look on Dolph's face, the look on Nipsey's face is similar. Like, you know, this is the last time you're going to be seeing me. Look. Okay, y'all? And a lot of people were saying that Dolph looked worried and he wasn't acting himself. A lot of people were saying that. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it weird that these two girls look so much alike. Look at the nose. The nose alone is, is odd to me, y'all. When I saw this together, I said... Wow, I, I can't even believe this my own self. I got to put this up so people can see this. I got to put this up so people can see this. Y'all, this is weird to me. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised in the least little bit, okay? Um, this female right here, and like I said, shout out to OG Jagar because he been doing his, he been, he been doing his homework, y'all. This female comes out after months 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 after Dolph is taken out now she comes up and say that he took a picture with her now mind you I want y'all to think about this where was she at months ago why didn't she say anything then why didn't she post any of this stuff then why did she start posting this stuff when bloggers start saying that Dolph was missing for a few days and then all of a sudden these mysterious pictures start popping up, y'all, okay? And not only is they popping up, you know, you, you know, at first I was like, she, she could be on the up and up. But then she started putting up pictures talking about, y'all, um, look at my leg. You know, it's a picture she has up and it's fading. You can see the floor through her leg. And we know that that's because of the camera night, you know, somebody probably had the night vision thing on or something like that. And it made you look, it's like her leg is see-through on one of the pictures. But she posted up like, um, can y'all tell me what this means? Because I look, I look ghostly. I look this, I look that. You know, it don't seem like it's about Dolph anymore. It's about something else. And then when OG started looking up all of her information, and he found out that she was posting stuff like 33, de you know, degrees and all the stuff, that Mason crap. And I was like, wait a minute, is she tied to Mia J, y'all? Because people are saying that Mia J is an Eastern star. So is this woman an Eastern star too? Ask yourself this question. And was it a coincidence that she met up with Dolph at this restaurant, y'all? Ask yourself this question. And the reason why I say this is because of the ties that OG found out about her. Okay, y'all? So let's just keep going. Let's just keep it going. Now, she has stuff like this posted on her web page. Y'all see, okay, y'all see the checkerboards and all, and y'all know what this means. This means the Illuminati mess, okay, y'all? 
This means the occult stuff. Okay, y'all. This means Mason and Eastern star mess. Okay, y'all. So she's not as innocent as people think that she is. Okay. So what is her whole thing in this? Okay, y'all. Because something ain't right about this. Something is definitely not right about this whole situation. Okay. And it's just like, you know, Rose Gold was saying on her page, she said, it does not make any sense that Dolph don't got nobody riding for him. People is running around lying. Everybody is really turning their backs on Dolph. Okay. Everybody is snicking Dolph because his own artists are hooking up with his ops artists now and doing deals with them. Y'all. His own family members are quiet as a mouse. They not saying anything. When they when the other people in their family passed away, they was couldn't shut them up. But now the Dolph is gone, his alleged Eastern star baby mama, she quiet as a mouse, y'all. Is she quiet because all this information is coming out about her and, you know, Dolph business partners and all of this stuff and all of them been chilling and kicking it with CMG for the longest? And man, y'all, like I told you, when Dolph first was taken out, Mia J was making sure all of these pictures was coming out like they was the perfect family and this and that and that and this. And then afterwards, we started finding out that Mia J and Dolph had wasn't even really together anymore. This was what word on the street is now. They were separated. Why was they separated, y'all? Ask yourself this question. There's so many stories coming out. People are saying that Mia J... And um, Dolph were, they, they were into it, really. They weren't even getting along. Ask yourself this question, why? Okay, y'all? Ask yourself why. And this, you know, could give you the answer to why. Just why she's so quiet right now, okay? Is that the answer to that? You know, because people were saying that, you know, the police wasn't cooperating with them at first and all of this. If the police weren't cooperating with them, then why are they so quiet then? Why was they so quiet and didn't want to tell stuff? Why ain't nobody talking about nothing? You know, we saw Dolph's brother on that stage just pacing, pacing, looking like a demon that he, they call him, okay, on that stage, looking like something is wrong with him, okay? He's looking like he want to snap out and go do something to somebody, but at the same time, ain't nobody doing nothing to nobody, okay? Or did he already do something to somebody? Or is he just got a lot of screws missing up there? Okay, y'all. Ask yourself this question. Look at the similarities of this girl. These two females, y'all. Look at this. Let's keep going. Now, I want to change the pace for just a second. Talk about mode three. Okay? Mode three... Passed away before Dolph. And during the time that Mo3, you know, before he passed away, he was doing a movie, y'all. Doing this movie. Okay? And I'm going to tell y'all something about these stars that's going out right now. Okay? The new agenda right now is to do stuff and put it in our faces. Okay? Either they want to make a movie off of your you being taken out or... They copy off of a movie. Taking you out. Okay, y'all? I want y'all to think about this. Word on the street in Dallas was this movie was set up so that they could take Mo3 out in the movie and then put it in the movie, you know, and play it in real life. He was going to pass away in real life and then they were going to put it in the movie. This is what the word on the street was, okay? And this is why it took so long because everybody found out the play and started talking about it and they had to change it up. That's why the movie got stalled, okay? Now, like I told y'all, I was doing a lot of research on this back when it first, you know, all this went down. And this real life street production um, page that's on YouTube, okay? I found out that this company that owns this page is the same people that does 
plays, y'all. They does real life plays that play, you know, murder mystery. This is what they do. You have to figure out who the hitter is. So this is what their job is. Okay, y'all? And for the love of me, they have so many rappers on this page. They could do a whole bunch of interviews with rapper after rapper after rapper. But this page is about real life deaths, y'all. People being taken out in real life. This is what this page represents. Okay, y'all? And when I found out, they had the nerve to change the name of who run the page, y'all. I started laughing. I said, boy, I tell you, but I'm glad I took screenshots of everything. So, to prove to y'all that it is what it is. But this is the same people that runs that page. Trap Murder Mystery. Okay? Same people. And these same people... It's the same people that was writing the script for Mo 3's demise for the movie, y'all. I can't make this up. These are the same people that sit down and wrote the script. Same people that writes murder mystery stuff, y'all. These people are evil, y'all. They're so evil, it don't make sense. All right? This guy right here. And guess what? Him and his wife then broke up now. And she didn't move to Atlanta. Now, that's word on the street. She didn't move to Atlanta and branched off from him. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that she branched off because of all of this stuff with the Mo3 stuff. Okay? That's falling back in his lap and an investigation that's going on. This is what I'm hearing. Okay, y'all? So, y'all, this runs deep. Now, while they were making the movie... These guys was posting a whole bunch of posts about 11-11. Some spectacular was going to happen 11-11. And everybody was going to get paid, you know, to get ready to receive their blessings and all of this stuff, okay? This is what they were writing about and posting on social on their social media web pages, y'all. Okay? What are the odds of Mo3 doing a movie? Okay? What? Well, People that do murder mystery stuff. And they guess the day that Mo3 was going to be taken out on. What are the odds of that? And you know what's the crazy part about this whole thing? Mo3's family does business with these people. That's the part that, kicks, that, that, that trips me out, okay, y'all? They does business with these people. They guess your son's death date. They were posting about it. And every time that Mothery's family go out to do anything, they put the you know, street name or whatever, these are the people that they are doing interviews with and that's covering the footage of it and everything, y'all. Just the crazy part. So don't be surprised that Dolph's people are working with his ops because Mothery's people is doing the same thing. They're doing the same exact thing, y'all. Blood money is real out here in these streets. Okay, y'all? Blood money is real. These are the same people. Look at it. Trap, murder, mystery. The inside job. Look at here, y'all. The one that circle, this guy posted on his social media that he was leaving Dallas. The one that's in the red box. He said, I'm leaving Dallas because Dallas is taking out artists. Soon as they start trying to make it. So he knew of something that was going on, y'all. And he wanted out. I got all of this information. I got all his posts and everything. Same exact people. Trap murder mystery people. The inside job. Mo3 was taken out. It was an inside job. Dolph was taken out. It was an inside job, y'all. This is what it's about now. Okay? Now, after, you know, all of this stuff went on, I found out about this insurance policy. 
call key person insurance okay if you are in the middle of a movie with someone and you something happens to you then they can put you in an insurance have you in an insurance that they can collect millions of dollars if you do not finish the movie so this is where the money came from when Mo3 was taken out and this is why all of a sudden we didn't even hear about no movie with no Boosie but right after Mo3 passes away all of a sudden Mo3 was in my movie too so did they forge Mo3's signature on Boosie's movie so Boosie could collect a check too because the word on the street is Mo3 passed away in the making of his movie okay but it was only a couple of seconds that he's in the movie y'all so did he get this clip or footage from somebody and just throw in there just so he could collect the check off of Mo3 too ask yourself this question okay y'all let's keep going Oh, not only that, Mo3's manager could put Mo3 in a, um, insurance because of this and policy, this little policy too, because they were considered business partners for HSM. And if something happens to Mo3 and they're in the middle of business, he could put them in an insurance policy too. So he stood to collect too. Okay, y'all? Let's not leave him out. All right? Let's keep going. Now, Remember when I told y'all that Dolph opened a door, okay? He opened up a door that he should not have opened. A lot of celebrities are doing it. Carly B, all of these celebrities are doing it, okay? Megan Thee Stallion, all of them is playing with fire right now. They're playing with these devil symbols. They're playing with God, and they're acting like, you know, trying to act like they're not. But they're sending a message out and, they, and they're a bad influence on the, on the kids, y'all. They really is. Because they're pushing this demonic mess. And a lot of these celebrities, they think that they can do it and then they can jump back out of it. But it's not that easy. Okay? And sometimes, you know, your card comes up and sometimes it don't. After you done started messing with this mess. Okay? It's a lot of celebrities. And you know, like I said, Dolph did more good than bad. Because I think Dolph figured out that... This wasn't the route he wanted to take. And I don't believe it was just too late because he was entwined with a lot of snakes. And they were all around him. And it was nothing he could do afterwards. Okay, y'all? But this is another example of I want to talk about a movie. I want to talk about, you know, they were in the process of putting Mo 3's demise into the movie to make it into a real you know they wanted to show him being taken out so that this movie could be blockbuster this is what they wanted to do but you know they, the plans got messed up because everybody stopped talking in Dallas and um, messed up the plans but in Dolph's case I do believe his demise was already in a movie y'all to be honest and I'm going to talk about this movie right now with you all. The movie that his is in. Okay. So I was looking at this movie. And on the refrigerator of the movie, it said home sweet home. Okay. And I thought about Dolph, to be honest, when I saw that. And I was like. He just passed away in his hometown, y'all. And I went to I went to this picture right here that was up, you know, on Google. And it said rapper Young Dolph hit in his hometown, Memphis, Tennessee. And I thought about that when I saw that. And I was like, well, you know, that's not a coincidence. A lot of artists, they get taken out in their hometown, y'all. A lot of them, they get taken out in their hometown. So that's not, you know, nothing major, major, okay? But then I kept watching the picture. I kept watching the movie. And then I saw something else come up on the refrigerator, on the movie. And I was like, catch him and kill him. That's what it said on the refrigerator. Catch him and kill him. And I thought about him. I was like, catch him 
Ain't that's where they say that Dolph was taken out on Ketchum and Airwaves or something like that? And I went to this picture right here and it says young Dolph taken out on Ketchum Street in his hometown. And I was like, wow, that's that's kind of eerie. I thought about that. I was like, that's kind of eerie to see that and then see that on the movie. Okay. And then I was like, this can't be no coincidence. And I kept watching. And the more I watched, the more stuff just, just kept popping up about Dolph and his whole little thing, what happened to him in this movie. So then I kept going, y'all. Kept going. And then I saw this flash across the screen. It says, catch him and kill him. Catch him. And I get catch him all over the sheet right there. And it gets kept doing it. And I'm like, why is this such a major thing that they keep putting through this movie? Catch him and kill him. Catch him and kill him. They tried to take him out two other times. They couldn't get him out of town. But they got him in his hometown. And they got him on Ketchum Street or off Ketchum Street in Airways. So then I just kept going. I was like, this is some weird stuff that I'm looking at in this picture. Okay. And then I went to this storyline right here. And it says, Jeremiah Taylor was a hero himself. This is the guy that was keeping up Dolph's memorial. And he was taken out because he was keeping the memorial clean. Okay. And as I'm watching this movie, something else pops across the screen, y'all. Something else pops across the screen. And lo and behold, it says, Reverend Jeremiah Ketchum. Okay, this is what it, the whole thing says. I didn't get the whole end part, but that's what it says. Reverend Jeremiah Ketchum. And I'm like, what are the odds of the same movie talking about Ketchum Street and all this stuff? And then now it's talking about reverence. And we've been hearing about all the church stuff and the church people that's trying to collect and everything else that's involved with this whole mess with Dolph's case, too. And then the man that was cleaning his memorial gets taken out. And his name is in this movie too, Jeremiah. So I'm like, okay. This is the weirdest thing ever. And then I kept going. And I, I some told me, go look this picture up. Go look it up. So I pulled up Amityville Horror House. Okay, y'all? Amityville Horror House. And when I pulled this up. It said um, that this house was at, first it was listed as the address as 108 Ocean Avenue, okay? And then it said that they changed the address. Now, for whatever reason they changed the address, I don't know. They're saying that this movie is a true story, y'all. They're saying that this movie is a true story, okay? And they're saying that this movie called caused so much caused so much you know stuff going on you know it was just a lot of turmoil in this movie because it was a true story and then there was like lawsuits flying here and there and there and there with this movie to the point that um sorry y'all to the point that I guess they just changed the address, okay? And then they were trying to resell this house because this house, you know, people were taken out in this house and, you know, people didn't want to buy this house. So I guess that's why they changed the address. But then if you look at this address, 108 Ocean Avenue and then 112 Avenue, Ocean Avenue, this is what they changed it to, okay? Now, it also says something else that I paid close attention to. That It says that this house was officially sold in February of 2017 in an under, to an undisclosed owner of $605,000, which was less, was $200,000 less than the original accent price, okay? So I went and I looked up 
a few things because I was like, I heard something about ocean that um, Dolph used to sing a song or something about ocean. And then I looked up the 108 Praise Radio Voice of Gospel and, and I pulled up some information on that. And I was like, this is weird. A lot of stuff is weird that ties into, you know, Dolph and his whole case and preachers and, you know, that last vid that video. And a lot of people was like, they was eerie about the last videos that Dolph made because of all the symbolism and the churches and all this other stuff. And then I went to the Pacific Ocean because that, that house is on Ocean Street. And it's if you think about this house and if you think about this movie, this movie is about a father, okay, with a history of mingling and tingling and occult stuff, okay, y'all? This is why this guy went crazy, okay? Now, if you think about this movie and if you, you know, this is what I did. Because sometimes you have to flip stuff. You have to flip. My grandma told me this a long time ago. You know, sometimes you dream about some, somebody or something happen. If it's a woman, it might be a man. So she always told me, like, flip it. This is what she always told me to do. So I was like, if you flip this movie and think about it, okay? This movie is about a father going crazy that's into occult stuff, okay? And he takes out his father his whole family and it's supposed to be a true story now what st stands out is it happened in november y'all it happened in november 1974 okay that stands out to me um the address ocean it's on ocean avenue and then Dolph has this song about pacific ocean and he's talking about i get your whole family whacked and all that and it's this the story is about whacking the whole family okay y'all and I want you to flip it. I want you to think about not Dolph, you know, mingling and tingling into the uh, cult. Think about his Eastern star baby mama that's mingling and tingling into an occult right now, allegedly. Think about this, y'all. Think about they was not getting along. And I want you to think about this movie. This movie is about demons inside of this place. Okay, Dolph died inside of a cookie shop with his alleged brother named Demon. Okay, I want you to think about this movie, how the father was nailing the door shut, nailing the window shut like it was a trap. Okay, he was trapping his family in so that they couldn't get away from him and they couldn't get out. Okay, and think about how Dolph was trapped inside of that cookie shop, y'all. Okay, a lot of st stuff just, just seems like it just added up with this movie in his life. Um, hit the, the, um, the father that went crazy, him and the mother was arguing over money because they was arguing over the house. They was arguing over the kids. This is what they're saying now what's going on that went on with Dolph before he passed away they saying that him and you know his baby mama wasn't even together really they're saying that you know he had a problem with her she didn't she wasn't doing things she was supposed to be doing and y'all see she had a baby on social media won't even call my hair you know if you flip this stuff and you think about everything it's eerie this movie is like it's telling you a story and then it, it flips to scenes in the movie where the guy I almost said Dolph but the man of the house he's in this room with a demon and this demon has a hat on and it's like I'm looking at that movie and I'm look I'm thinking about Dolph in that in that store trapped between those two doors with his brother and y'all it just seems to me that Dolph was set up by his family it seems to me that People wanted him out the way for gains. 
and I got them out the way and everybody is gaining from it. Everybody is gaining from it. And everybody, you know, it took the people in Mo Three's case a little bit longer to come out with stuff because everybody was all over them. Okay. But in Dolph's case, everybody's showing themselves now. All the faces are starting to show and everybody that's tied to each other, they're not wasting no time anymore. And that's one thing about the last days is the devil is getting desperate. And when he gets desperate, he don't care. He don't care about what's coming out and what's, he, he got a short amount of time to do things and he's doing it as fast as he possibly can much as destruction as he can um using the people that he can use and throw them away it's crazy and i'm looking at this song right here and it got trust a b i'll lead it for you tricks so he was basically saying in this song right here he don't even trust he don't even trust um a female okay y'all and like i said they sold that house in 2017, the Amityville house. They finally sold the house in 2017. And I saw, I, you know, I came across this and it said that Key Glock started his career after he, he was signed in 2017 by Dolph's record, Paper Route. It just seemed like so much stuff links them together. These move, this movie with Dolph's life and what he went through, who he went through it with, and it all rounds back up to this, y'all. It rounds right back up to this demonic crap that they got going on and this agenda that they are pushing on the youth, the drill music, the, <laughs> the making these kids taking their lives and then trying to make a movie out of it. Because like I said, they, you know, word on the street is they are trying to make a movie off of King Von now. They, they want to make a movie off of his life now. And this is what it's all about. They want to make movies off of these guys. They're just making money off of them. And these elites, are they eating good off of these guys. They're eating good off of them. And this is why I be telling y'all now, when you have people that still mingling and tingling and i know a lot of people i keep bringing up mozzie because everybody is feeling sorry for mozzie and then other people is like well he he about that life he this he that and that and this you know i try to you know curve the blow a little bit for you all because if they don't care about their own lives and they're getting paid millions of dollars to sell their people out and put out this type of music and this type of stuff into the atmosphere, then you all are going to have to start, like I said, worrying about your own kids and your own lives and start worrying about a lot of these celebrities that's putting themselves in these positions and that's putting out this type of music and stuff for to just, you know, brainwash a lot of these kids today. You're going to have to stop. You're just going to simply have to just stop it, y'all. Because these people don't care about y'all. A lot of them don't care about y'all. They they there for to get their check. And that's it. And a lot of people is losing sleep over, you know, a lot of these artists being taken out. But when you mingle and tingle in this kind of stuff, this is what comes from it, y'all. This is what comes from it. Now, you know, I'm not saying don't try to find out what happened to, you know, people. But at the same time, I'm just saying moving forward. You're going to have to start worrying more about yourselves, y'all, and your own, because this right here ain't it. And if they, you know, like I said, I would not be surprised when you hear something that didn't happen to Carly B or somebody close to her, because she thinks this is a joke. It's not a joke. It is not a joke. And these are not no coincidences what I just showed y'all, okay, y'all? This is not a coincidence. And if y'all think I'm lying, go watch the movie. They got a couple of Amityville Horror movies. But I think it's the 1979 one. I think it's 1979 one. Go look at it. Go look at it and tell me don't it remind you of you're going to have all kind of little flashes through that movie. 
about Dolph in it. Okay, y'all? So, anyway, this video is longer than I expected it to be. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one short and I'm going to go into something else. But I just wanted to show y'all some stuff because this is crazy what's going on out here. And people got to wake up. People need to wake up. And even for the street associates, they need to wake up because they're being, you know, coerced into, you know, fighting amongst each other. And they don't even know why they're fighting each other. They're just doing it because they sitting back and they, you know, doing all the street pharmacy stuff. And they listening to all of this stupid music. And they don't even know why they're doing the stuff that they're doing. They don't even know why they're hurting their own people. They don't know why they, you know, running, you know, doing drab ass and all this stuff and just taking out the wrong people and doing dumb stuff. They don't even know their own self, y'all. They really don't. They brainwashed. And they need to wake up. And a lot of them I do think are waking up. Because like I told y'all, I was getting a lot of messages from people saying that they, you know, they, they, they are in street associates. And they tired of the mess that's going on. They're tired of all of the, you know, people getting hit up. They, a lot of them are getting tired of it too, y'all. So are they waking up too? I don't know, but it looks like they are. Okay? But anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank y'all so much for watching, y'all. Peace.